May 10th, 2014, then NECW Heavyweight Champion Slick Wagner Brown surrenders the championship to General Manager Paul Richard after suffering a serious knee injury that would require surgery. This Saturday night, April 11th, SWB makes his return to NECW action for the first time in a year, taking on the mass hole Mike McCarthy in a number one contenders match. Coming up, we'll have words from the former champion about his injury, his recovery, and his thoughts on Saturday night's comeback match. That and more just ahead on this edition of New England Championship Wrestling. My name is Sumi Sakai. I'm here for NECW. Tonight, the World Women's Wrestling Championship is on the line as Mistress Belmont defends that title against Japan's Sumi Sakai, making her long-awaited return to NECW. Maybe you've been waiting a long time, Castro, but we certainly haven't. Sumi debuted in New England Championship Wrestling in 2001, and that is ancient history. For all I know, she's collecting social security by now. They should even reel out a wheelchair for her by ringside. Don't you think you're taking her a little bit too lightly? Lightly? Toxus has eaten bowls of rice bigger than that woman. <laughs> New England Championship Wrestling returns live Saturday night, April 11th at the Everett Rec Center, 47 Elm Street, Everett, Mass., with a 7.30 bell time. In the main event, former NECW Heavyweight Champion Slick Wagner Brown returns to action, taking on the mass hole Mike McCarthy in a number one contenders match. Total Loco and Sensational Scott Levesque battle it out for the vacant NECW Television Championship. Mistress Belmont defends the Triple W Championship against former champion Damien in a return grudge match. NECW Tag Team Champions The End with Mr. Tony Ulysses defend the titles in an open challenge. The one-man lynch mob Jack Maverick squares off against Genesis in a grudge match, plus more matches to be announced. Tickets are on sale now, online at NECW.TV or call 1-800-838-3006. That's 1-800-838-3006. Don't miss New England Championship Wrestling when it returns to live action Saturday night, April 11th in Everett. Take you back to January 10th, 2015, World Women's Wrestling Championship on the line as Mistress Belmont defends against Sumi Sakai, a very important figure in the history of New England Championship Wrestling. More on that in a few moments. The bell is sounded for this matchup as Belmont whispers something to Toxis, the sisterhood in force at ringside. The referee is Chris Bartolo. Sumi Sakai started her career in Japan. Came to New England Championship Wrestling, making her American debut in 2001. There you see Sakai in control on the champion, Mistress Belmont. Off the ropes. Sakai tackles her down. Big boot right between the shoulder blades of the champion, Mistress Belmont. Sakai, nice trip out takedown. Belmont face first in the corner, and Sakai dances on top of the mistress. Sakai didn't get that behavior in Japan, I can assure you of that. Now it's Sakai are on the outside playing mind games with the mistress, who is a master of mind games, along with Miss Sammy Lane and Toxis. Sakai back in the ring, here comes Belmont, Sakai off the ropes. 
Drop kick sends Belmont to the floor. A little later in the matchup, Belmont now in control on Sakai, tosses her into the corner. Pulls her out by the leg, goes for the cover, but only gets two. Big forearm right to the chest of Sumi Sakai. Off the ropes now, and it's Sakai doubling her over and clamping on the abdominal stretch. A submission maneuver right here. Sumi Sakai was the inspiration for the creation of World Women's Wrestling. Check out the best of World Women's Wrestling episode one for that story. Sakai rolls her into a cover but only gets two. Now a little bit later in the match, it's Belmont with both feet on the throat of the challenger. Belmont drags her into the middle of the ring, goes for the cover but only gets two. Big challenge here for Mistress Belmont. The reigning and defending World Women's Wrestling Champion. Oh, big chops by Sakai. Sakai was an Olympic level competitor in judo before getting into pro wrestling and a spine buster by the champion. Drilled her into the canvas, goes for the cover. This could do it, but only two. A very competitive match between the challenger, Japan Sumi Sakai and the champion, Mistress Belmont. Surfboard here by Belmont into a full Nelson. Sakai said, oh man, face first into the canvas, right in the kisser. Here's the cover, only two. Sumi Sakai might look like a cute little Japanese woman, but under that hair, She's got cauliflower ears. Once again, Belmont stretching out the challenger. Belmont taunting the crowd. Sakai turning into it now. Back up to her feet. Kick to the midsection. And a jawbreaker. Off the ropes now. Sakai goes for the clothesline. Off the ropes again. Drop kick. Didn't quite get all of it. Belmont goes for the cover. Only two. Belmont now staying on Sakai. Blatant choke right here. Referee Chris Bartolo calling for the break. Sakai trying to get her win. And now here's Sammy Lane getting into the act. Blatant choke by Miss Sammy Lane on the challenger, Sumi Sakai. Big boot right to the midsection. Designed to take the wind away from the challenger. Snap mares are over. Belmont once again goes for the cover. Only gets two. Sakai trying to pull herself up. Belmont raking the back with those fingernails. Another big forearm right to the chest of Sumi Sakai. Off the rope, Sakai now. Goes for the head scissors takedown and gets it. Sakai now with some momentum. Charges in on Belmont. Big forearm. And another by Belmont. Oh, we got a slugfest going right here. Sakai is tough. And so is Belmont. Off the ropes now. Sakai tags her again. Belmont fires back. Double clothesline and both women are down. Referee Chris Bartolo counting both women down. Belmont up to her knees. That will break the count. Belmont trying to pull herself up. Sakai now back up to her feet. As is Belmont on a rake to the eyes right there. Belmont 
Palma drives the shoulder into the midsection of the challenger. Props are up on top. Palma trying to go for a superplex, but Sakai just pushes her away. The challenger laying in wait. Here comes Belmont. Missile drop kick on the money. Here's a cover. This could do it. Only two. Sakai pulls her into the center of the ring. Sakai once again dancing on the midsection of Belmont as she heads upstairs. Going for a moonsault right here, but nobody home. Sakai recovered quickly. Belmont up to her feet. Kicks her right in the head. Belmont now up top. Drives another big boot into the midsection of the challenger. Cover. Two and a half. That was close. Belmont unable to put away the challenger. Fans chanting for Sumi. Belmont now. Fisherman suplex. Pinning combination. Here's one. Here's two. And Sakai rolls out. Belmont angry with referee Chris Bartolo accusing him of a slow count. Sakai plants a kiss on Belmont. Talk about mind games. Sakai now. German suplex. Has her over. This could do it here. But wait a minute. Sakai got pulled out by Miss Sammy Lane. The Sisterhood are making their presence felt now. Sakai and Miss Sammy Lane arguing on the outside. Screaming match between Miss Sammy Lane and Sakai and Belmont. Tags her from behind. Miss Sammy Lane now up on the apron. Tox is climbing up. Referee Chris Bartolo saying, don't do this. That's going to do it right here. This match is over. The Sisterhood once again saved the title for Mistress Belmont. Sakai now off the ropes, getting set up here. Double clothesline by Sakai. Here comes Toxus. And Sakai kisses Toxus. Get the Listerine ready. Let's go to Chris Norman now for the official word. You can bet we have not seen the last of Sumi Sakai. However, ladies and gentlemen, due to the fact that championships cannot change hands by disqualification, Mistress Belmont will retain the Triple W. Not a very popular outcome, but so it stands. Mistress Belmont is still the World Women's Wrestling Champion. Well, maybe she doesn't know English, but once again, your winner by disqualification, Sumi Sakai. Coming up, we'll have words from the former NECW Heavyweight Champion, Slick Wagner Brown. But first, let's take you now to words from a newcomer. And his name is Fox Vineyard. Two weeks of championship wrestling, the power of Fox Vineyard is coming on April 11th. For who here's where the power lies. The official printing company of New England Championship Wrestling is Color Copy Center Boston. We copy, we print, we bind, we laminate. And we offer free delivery in Metro Boston. See us at 31 St. James Avenue in the Park Square Building. Call us at 617-391-0030 or visit us online at colorcopycenterboston.com. They make NECW look good, they'll make you look good too. New England Championship Wrestling returns live Saturday night, April 11th at the Everett Rec Center, 47 Elm Street, Everett, Mass., with a 7.30 bell time. In the main event, former NECW Heavyweight Champion Slick Wagner Brown returns to action, taking on the mass hole Mike McCarthy in a number one contenders match. 
Toto Loco and Sensational Scott Levesque battle it out for the vacant NECW Television Championship. Mistress Belmont defends the Triple W Championship against former champion Damien in a return grudge match. NECW Tag Team Champions the end with Mr. Tony Ulysses defend the titles in an open challenge. The one-man lynch mob Jack Maverick squares off against Genesis in a grudge match, plus more matches to be announced. Tickets are on sale now, online at NECW.TV, or call 1-800-838-3006. That's 1-800-838-3006. Don't miss New England Championship Wrestling when it returns to live action Saturday night, April 11th in Everett. to reintroduce myself. My name is SWB and I'm the Underground King. Now I told y'all I was coming back Boston strong and that's exactly what I'm going to do on April 11th at the Rec Center in Everett, Massachusetts. You see, one year ago I ruptured my patella tendon and needed surgery on my left knee. That forced me to walk to that ring, step between those ropes and hand over something I busted my ass for. Now after having surgery, going through rehab and lifting weights to get myself in shape, it's brought me to this very moment. Now I find out that instead of facing Brad Hollister for the championship, I'm facing Mike McCarthy in the number one contenders match. Now I guess the office had forgotten that I never lost my title. No one ever beat me for that title. I had to hand it over due to injury. So why am I in the number one contenders match? I'll never know. But that doesn't matter. Because I'm going to take out my frustrations on Mike McCarthy. That's right. Mike McCarthy. On April 11th at the Rec Center in Everett, Massachusetts, I'm going to do what I do better than anybody else in the world, and that's beat down the competition. And that's exactly what you are, Mike McCarthy, competition. You are damn good, but you are not the underground king. And on April 11th, Team SWB will rise up.